TIFU by realizing I destroyed an art piece in a gallery 10 years ago. While this event happened 10 years ago, I literally just realized an hour ago what I actually did. In 2014 I was just completing my master's degree in design. Now, the way the degree was set up it was one course of 40 people. But we were all doing different areas. Dance. Architecture. Sculpture. Textiles. Everything and anything. We'd have lectures together. And present the progress on our projects every couple of months. So end of year comes around and we start setting up our final gallery show. The space we were using was the first year art students workshop. Which we cleared out and prepped and painted fresh. When I arrived to do my part. One wall is a mess. Like 100 holes all over it. Like a hammer and knife attack. I was pissed that a first year did this to a structural wall. And grabbed the sandpaper, filler and paint to fix it. The show went ahead fine with a warning wet paint sign on that section. I think you can tell where this is going. You know how your brain suddenly reminds you of things out of nowhere. Like shit. My laundry or are I forgot to pay that bill well. I'm sat in bed today and suddenly realize. Fuck. That was Anna's master degree piece. You see. Anna was a part-time mature student on different hours to the rest of us. We saw one presentation of her work which was about making repeated holes cuts into paper card. I never thought about it much again. She must have come in before the rest of us. Created the wall piece for the show. And left. And I'd gone and filled it and painted it away. To be fair. She never left any note or name on the piece. I don't even know if she knew what happened to it. Since it's not like she would need to come back to collect it after the show since it was. You know. A wall. If she did. I hope she saw humor in it and added it to the piece's story humans crave to repair damage etc. Either way. I'm now silently cringing and may need to repent to the art gods lest karma strike me. TLDR I filled and painted over someone's master degree installation piece because I thought is was a damaged wall. Your wet paint sign was meta. I did a pop-up show about 10 years ago that turned out to be a lot of hipsters. I went to grab a thumb tack out of a jar on the floor to hang my art and this guy freaked out. Saying the jar of tacks was his art ha ha ha. This reminds me of a post I saw where some prep cook left a full container of fresh broth on the counter in the dish pit. No label. No date. No nothing. So the dishy comes in and immediately dumps it out to throw the container in the wash lol. I'm sure she had some point she was making by leaving it without a title card. But God I can't imagine what it was. I hope you don't lose too much sleep over it though honest mistake and you gave her a good story. This is the most extreme version of constructive criticism. Construction. Reminds me of an art piece in a city here. There's this museum where an artist wanted to connect the building to the nearby river with a staircase overgrown with plants and flowers. The staircase also runs straight through a walking path that goes through the surrounding public park. Well, one day one overeager city cleaner gardener mistook the ecological shrubbery for unwanted weeds and burned it all away. 200k worth of a project went up in smoke that day. Art school was a different beast altogether. The shit I made up on the spot so it would speak to whomever gazed upon it was ridiculous. But hey. Anything for an A. I made a piece with umbrellas and fans down a hallway. A major hurricane just happened so I made something up about that and tied it into my pathetic art. Peace. Got an A. 
I'm not going to say there's good art and bad art that's getting too close to Nazi degenerate art territory. But the very least you could do is cordon off your art piece. In my opinion that one was on her. TIFU by not leaving a note next to my art piece. Lol I went to art school and the janitors left one crushed soda can for months because someone started a rumor that it was an art piece. I was walking on a beach and saw a fish flopping around in the low water. I had pity on the fish and threw it into deeper water. As soon as it splashed heard a little girl behind me say, Daddy, that man threw your fish back in. I turned around to see a pretty pissed off fisherman who said, Maybe next time I'll throw you in the water. I apologized profusely and backed off. But how was I supposed to know? It wasn't in a box. Any big wave would have washed it back. In German we have a saying that goes first das Kunstoder kann das Weg. Is that considered art or should we throw it away? That was coined because of exactly this type of art accidents. May I remind people that the Cleveland Art Museum has a pair of light bulbs hanging from an extension cord as art. They claim it's supposed to represent the AIDS epidemic. But modern art has gotten really lazy in some areas. This is why no one takes modern art seriously. If you need a sign to tell you it's art, it ain't art. There is only one way to restore cosmic balance and avoid karma. You need to find Anna. Go to her house. Hammer and gouge holes in her wall. Then leave. Do this now or forever be worried about the consequences. Every third left sock you put in the washing machine will disappear. Random cats will follow you around. The space bar on your keyboard will stop working. The universe is watching. I call total BS. Master's level students. Doing an important year end show. Crowning five years of education in fine art. So. The mature student sneaks in. Drills hundreds of holes. Doesn't indicate it's her work. And then. When her work is destroyed. Somehow. She never says a word. None of the faculty mentioned the vandalism. Nobody ever mentioned the woman who never submitted to a year-end show. Because. My experience in a fine art program is that there would have been a complete shit storm if a. Student ruined another person's work. Two optimistic outcomes. One half of art is the reaction it evokes. Your reparation of the wall ended up being part of the piece. Two Anna was allowed to employ the wall as her thesis under the agreement that she would repair it. Afterwards. And you saved her the work. I was fooling around with a girl. Super naive and green. And neither of us had protection. She drove us to the drugstore to buy cigarettes and then seemed really annoyed the rest of the evening after for some reason. On God it was a good six years later when I realized randomly oh. I was supposed to buy some condoms wasn't I? I don't think damaging someone else's wall is a legitimate art piece anyway. She should buy and use her own drywall. That was not an art piece tbh. You did art too repaired to nothing op. You patched the holes. Waited the several hours it takes to dry and came back and sanded the whole wall. Then painted it. And no one stopped you or said anything about it at all. As a counterpoint. If the art is indistinguishable from some random mess then it shouldn't really be considered art. Particularly given no effort was made to label it as such. Story reminded me of the Italian cleaner who chucked a piece in the bin because it was literally just a pile of newspaper cardboard strewn across the floor. This is a pretty fucking weird story. Like who would paint a randomest dinged up wall that didn't belong to them in the first place? If it was art, 
Wouldn't it be labeled? Where were the other students? Why did nobody ever mention that one of the projects had been ruined? None of this played out like a real thing. Hate to be that guy but this sounds like OP was like hey what if somebody mistook bad art for something that needed repair and ruined it. Let's make up a story and post it. You're totally in the clear. If you can knife a wall and get a master's. That piece of paper is worth absolutely jack shit. If the art was indistinguishable from vandalism, nothing of value was lost. If even an artist doesn't know your art is art, then it's shit art. That sounds like the dumbest master degree piece ever. Maybe Anna got credit for your wet paint sign as her master's piece. Rolling on the floor laughing. Ah yes. Walk in hit a wall with a hammer a few times and leave calling it art. If it was that bad, was it really art in the end? As a famous German saying says is this art or can it be thrown away? On a high school field trip to an art show in Chicago. There was a piece of art that begged us to blow on it. Silver streamers covering another piece of art that you couldn't see unless you moved the streamers. So all these people kept blowing on it. Out of the corner. The artist came running up. Yelling at everyone to stop blowing on his art. Op inadvertently created the female Hitler and painted the darkest timeline. You happy now Op? Humanity could have achieved techno paradise but instead we're in dubstep hell. IDK it's their fault for making such shit art. It was an interactive piece. You simply completed its destiny. I have heard similar stories like this where someone defaced or damaged an art piece and the artist would simply say, now it is complete. If you can't tell something is art just by looking at it, it's a shitty piece of art. Anna reading this thread mad as fuck. So I took the banana off the wall and ate it. If her art just looks like a shitty vandalized wall, she probably doesn't deserve a master's degree in art. When I arrived to do my part, one wall is a mess. Like 100 holes all over it. Like a hammer and knife attack. I was pissed that a first year did this to a structural wall. I don't understand shit about engineering. But isn't that kinda unsafe? If someone's art is so shitty that it can be mistaken for damage to a structure. That person is not an artist. I thought my roommate was out of town for the weekend. So when I came home to find his chicken breast left out on the counter. Warm in a puddle in its plastic freezer bag. I assumed he'd left it out long ago. And it was trash. His trip had been cancelled and he was just reading quietly in his room. He was not happy his dinner had been tossed out. It seems like this was Anna's fault. This seems like art that could easily be misidentified. Humans crave to repair damage insane fully insightful. Art. Technically art can never be destroyed. It can only be added to. You unknowingly collaborated with Anna. Why not think of it as a positive outcome? Imagine instead that she would have gotten a less than perfect grade with the punched out wall. But you perfected that wall. Transforming it into an award winning masterpiece. Just as easy to imagine yourself the hero as a dummy. Don't waste your effort or anxiety on this one. Stay positive. My friend. It's okay. That wasn't art. You took her art and re-arted it. Honestly. The humans crave to repair damage idea would have been a great way to build upon her project. She could have made her project into a series WA rendering of the fixed wall with the wet paint. Sign. To me. 
That's a deeper take on a wall with holes of course. IDK her own inspiration behind her hole and scissor art though. It was a foo. But since it didn't ruin her MA and it likely would have been repaired soon anyway. I wouldn't lose any sleep over it. This is like someone. Invited to Warhol's kitchen. Dumped the empty soup cans they found in the dumpster. That is the worst kind of art anyway. Hey don't feel too bad. I knocked over an expensive painting of Tom Brady in an art museum on a field trip and spilled food. On it. Proceeded to pick it back up with greasy fingers and act like nothing happened. It wasn't art. You did nothing wrong. If a master's degree final piece was a hole filled wall, it deserves to be destroyed. WTF. This is fucking hilarious. I just hope nobody hired someone who thought putting holes in a wall qualified as art. What's the worst that could happen? It's not like angry. Failed artists have ever caused problems for the world. Mao. This made me laugh. I'm an art major and I can just see this scene in my head. I'm also in tears because I wish I could read this to my dad. We'd laugh about it together. My dad passed a year ago. He was an automotive designer and a Pline Air watercolor artist. I miss him so much. I'll share it with my boyfriend instead. He's also an art major. We are both graphics designers. He'll get a laugh out of it too. Thanks for sharing again. Ha ha. Your accidental masterpiece deserves its own exhibit. OMG. You're the artist behind Blank Wall. I'm such a huge fan your work is incredible this was clearly your master's thesis work. But I would have easily mistaken it for a seasoned professional's work well done. If your art is indistinguishable from garbage, think twice about letting people see it. I mean I get art is subjective but what dumb asshole jabs a bunch of holes into a wall and not expect someone to assume it was vandalism. Damn these comments are chuck full of the shittiest student art projects imaginable. I was pissed that a first year did this to a structural wall and grabbed the sandpaper, filler and paint to fix it. If it's any consolation you probably did a shit job and it fell apart shortly thereafter. Just saying so because it sounds like you didn't have drywall tape or anything. When my father was in college there was a student art show in a building which also had a construction project underway. He saw a pile of bricks which workers had left right by the exhibit entrance. Later that day he returned with a small placard. Inertia was the only piece from the show to be pictured in the college paper. Maybe it was meant to be performative art and expected someone to repair it. To be fair, as an ex-art student myself, I'd have reacted the same way. If your aunt doesn't look like it could even remotely be art I'm sure as well going to assume it isn't. And treat it this way. Especially garbage like this. But then again I deeply despise and have zero respect for modern art so I'm really biased. Cue the pretentious what is art. Talk in this thread. Yeah. In my past life of restoration of old houses. I saw Anna's type of work all the time. Nothing special about it except in Anna's case. It was in a gallery. When my mom had an office. She shared it with another woman. That woman's kids had done something in art class where they pour different colored sand into a jar. To make a picture. Within hours of it being on her desk. One of the co-workers picked it up and shook it. Once in school. I thought there was a colorful dry erase board on the wall of the library. Turns out. It was a minimalist art installation. I discovered this after my doodles wouldn't erase. Accidental vandalism.
Did she get permission from someone to destroy a wall that didn't belong to her? Sounds like you created a new artwork by adapting an existing artwork. My daughter and I were going through MoMA in NYC a few years ago and came across a piece that consisted of a small area on the wall maybe 9 inches square where the paint had been buffed to be a bit shinier than the rest of the wall. That was it. That was the piece. Complete with a proper citation from the museum. You just never know about art. I. 2. Fix university structural walls as a student. Free of charge instead of alerting literally anyone that works at the facility maintenance. Wow. I think you've inadvertent stumbled on the metaphysical question of what is art. I'm sorry but a wall that's been viciously attacked by a hammer knife is not art. We've gotten way too loose with what qualifies as art these days. That said, it's also a little weird that you decided to waste your time on something that was not your problem. At all. I'm not exactly sure how what you repaired could be considered art. Sounds like nothing of value was lost anyway. Nah this is hilarious. To be honest holes in a wall is not art. So quirky how the master's student left their easily mistakable abstract work completely unattended. And unlabeled what a very real silly mistake certainly not and I know you love karma but creative. Writing. Performance art baby. To be honest. You merely completed the piece to its ultimate conclusion. You became the art. Sips wine. Be me. Grab stuff and make holes in it. LMAO at Sheeple believing it is art and paying me thousands to keep the crap I turn into Gruyere. Cheese. Grab wall and turn it into glory hole wall. Gonna charge one billion for that one LMAO. Leave to drink some whiskey and come back. MFW someone has repaired my glory hole wall. MFW they put fresh paint warning on it. MFW I sell it as it is under the title walls inside my soul and still take one billion off some. Snob regard. It was a damaged wall, not art. If one's art is easily confused as something to be cleaned or fixed it's not art. Imo. No worries. Warhol once had his Brillo boxes thrown out by a janitor who thought they were trash. Just proves my belief that the vast majority of art is just stupid. Wait so you destroyed her art piece after she presented it right. I mean you didn't stop her from graduating right? Any art you can't immediately tell was supposed to be art, is crappy art. I'm sorry. Maybe it's biased of me. Or ridiculous. Or uncultured etc. But frankly that doesn't sound like art. It sounds like what someone who doesn't know how to paint would do. If you can't tell it's art. Holes in a wall is not art. Just because you are weird doesn't make you an artist. Glad you did that. That's no art. That's shit. And once again, I get bonus points by minding my own damn business. If that's art, I think you did the world a service. If it doesn't look like art, it is not. Nothing of value was lost. Relax. Art isn't about wrecking something. If you got a degree in art for something up your below an epileptic having a fit in a ball crawl. Besides she probably flipped it and told the faculty it was her intention all along for that to happen.